looking for a place to which relate, this is the place to be. Yeah, we brought them from South Africa and then we are not to meet them. That's why they are in the cage. After some time, we allow them to enter the park. Yeah. So, when you get inside to the park, you see animals like antelopes. We have different types of antelopes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then here is a historical area. In the olden days, the shy people were living here with the animals. Oh, okay. Yeah. They are the Jodua, Gomeda, Pram Pram, Doyun. Yeah, they are those people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they have their caves that they stay inside. Mm -hmm. We have Manya, Heweyu, Sayo, and then the Mogo here. They are mm -hmm. all caves. When you get there, the tour guide will narrate the story to you. Each cave have its own story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we do rock climbing, basket running, mm -hmm. bed watching, a lot of things here. Yeah. So this is the I'll show you the tinted glass. Yeah, that's the tinted glass. The place where we are going, you just hang in the air, mm. and you get there, you get the view yeah. of the park. Mm. So, and then the hell you? It's 290 meters ahead. But does it have a meaning? The name? The yeah, each name, each name have a meaning when you get there. They will tell us. Then they will tell you. Oh, okay. Ask this one. Uh, Mohe. It means aquama. Oh, okay. They give the meaning and the, yeah, the history. So, yeah. And this is the only busy hill we take to the history, the Mogo hill. That's the place where the shy people, when their children become adolescent stage, they had them there about three months and did the puberty right for them before they can marry. I don't know that they cannot marry. Mm. Yeah. So when you get, you get the details. Yeah. They don't keep their children there for the three months. They keep them in their house. And then they, they bring them yeah, for the ceremony. So when do they do it? Is it once every year? Yeah, once a year. Once a year. Yeah. Which month? September. September. Oh, so they've done this year's yeah. own already. So they came? Yeah, we're done. But one of the COVID, they didn't sell it. The first one where they get to the foundation. So can you come and like as a you can come and watch them? Can you? Ask? Yeah, yeah. That day is three days for people. Hey. 
come and see people's things. Yeah. Um, we have a museum here. A guy will take you to the museum so that you get there. Uh, mm -hmm. We have some uh, animal skills there. That one, not all the time you see them with the bush. And we have the cameras in the park. That camera capture the animals. When you get there, you get some of the skin, the scout, and then you can see the museum. We have a first quarrying site in Ghana. First what? Quarrying site. Quarrying? Yeah, a place where Kwame Nkrumah took gravels to build the Kosovo Dam. Ah, quarry site. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's in your park. Yeah. Mm. But nowadays it's not more. But what, like, what can, because when I was speaking to you earlier on, you were saying the that. Animals. Yes, there are some <coughs> of animal, animals around uh, that they are not caged. Uh, pythons, puffada, cobra, green mamma. Pythons and puffada? Yeah, uh, green hey. mamma. Uh, the uh, type of antelope, uh, you know the type of antelope? No, I don't know. Uh, bush bark, bush corpse, maswe daika, monitor lizard. Oh, we are going but to live with all those people today there? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a criteria for selecting this place to be yeah. the reserve? Why did you put you here? The 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 to say, the like, why do people choose here to make here the reserve? Because there are a lot of forest. Uh, because to of the animals, they were they here with the. They are more here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Especially the baboons, the green monkeys, money, uh, spotted monkeys. Here. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the monkey and the baboon? Yeah. Uh, these are the green monkeys. Oh, see. Mm. Yeah, you see, they are smallish. Uh, and then the baboons, they are gentle. Uh, I have already seen some before. The baboons. No, not yet. Oh, they always come out. Come out. That's the key. The waters is red. Yeah, that's the difference. You use the, the waters. Yeah, the main one you see the waters is dirty. Ah. Uh, yeah. So you use the waters to tell. Yeah, 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 it's running away <laughs> because of me. Because of at the shy hills resort guys the view here is amazing i'm just thrilled at how amazing god is so if you see all of these things and you still don't think there is a god then i have a big question for you who created all of these things show but you guys around i'm going to show you my tent i came here with my travel buddy mansa and her brother yeah so they have three tents here one was built in 2004, the other was built in 2006, and then the most recent one, 2008. So when you come here, you have a tour guide to yourself, okay? They will guide you, they will protect you, they will make sure that you are not harmed. Okay.
to make sure that you are not um and as you know already know as you might already know there's no light here they only put on the gen at five o'clock so currently the lights are not on we we'll, we'll wait for the lights to come on at five o'clock this is our tour guide he's not our tour guide but he's been so good to us it's called henry henry say hi Hi. Hey Henry! <laughs> so Henry is going to show us around and we, we get to see all those cute places through Henry's lead. So as you can see we are at the Shah Hills Tent Reserve, a luxury safari resort in Ghana. It was built, it's built in 2008. Nice. So guys, we are just going to see what's in the tent. It was built later than our tent. So I'm just going to see this place. Oh my God. So you see all of this and you, you, you still think God doesn't exist then. Too bad for you. This didn't happen by accident. When this one was built in 2006 we just left the 2008 one as you can see each tent has a lavish bench and a walkway not forgetting a beautiful view the do's and don'ts and when you come here the things that you should be aware of so when you are here anything you want to do you want to do a uh, barbecue or bonfire the guys will provide you the firewood okay. and bonfire. And then if you want to do a uh, barbecue you will go to your things for the barbecue but the things inside like uh, the glasses yeah the glasses if you broke it you are going to pay it Mm. That one they will charge you. Yeah. Are, are you supposed to be careful about any wild animals? Um, yeah, we don't have wild animals here. Oh, okay. Yeah. The only wild animals we have it here is the baboons. And the baboons, they cannot attack you because of the tall guys. But so if there's they no tall guys, they can... Uniform, they will run away. They will not come around. So they've been trained to see when they see you wearing something yeah, like this? Yeah, we are here with them always. And if they become stubborn, we train them or we punish them to get to the soils or our uniform, they will run away. So if I'm Except coming and I wear some of your uniform, when they see me, they will run away? They will not come to you. They won't come to yeah. you. So it's good to wear something like this when yeah. I'm coming here. Because of the six four. Ah, the what? Uh, you see, I have some. Ah, they see it. The baboons, they see the 64 yeah, thing. Yeah, they see it. They so see we, it. Yeah, because we were trained by soldiers and they know that anytime we come, we come with arm. 
So if they misbehave, you fire them. Mm. Yeah. But I be like the so just they thought they are predecessors, not the people, right? Yeah. Not this this baboons. No, no, no. So how do how are they able to identify that? You see, we are still with them. Okay. Yeah. Especially when we are coming, we saw our one bungalow there. Immediately we enter the second gate. Mm -hmm. You see our bungalow there. Yeah. So they come there for feeding. Yeah. So anytime they attack somebody, even if I have a polythene bag or holding a polythene bag, they can attack you. But the thing is, a food, and they want it. Ah. Mm -hmm. But if I'm holding a polythene bag with my uniform, they will not come to me. Mm. So they are wild animals. Yeah. The baboons are wild animals. Yeah, they are wild. Okay, so what would you be? What would be? That's why always you are here with a tour guide. If you want to go inside, you go with a tour guide with arm. Mm. Yeah. But what would you be your advice? One advice. One. Um, now I'll tell you that uh, the baboons, not all the time you should feed them. Okay. Yeah, if you want to feed them, unless you are going with a tour guide. But sometimes, they will rise and I mean come for the food. Yeah. So if we receive to give them the food, they will try attacking. Yeah. So you shouldn't feed them always or alone unless you go there with a the tour guide. But the other monkeys like the green monkeys, they are not friendly. They will mm -hmm. come around here and take the food like the fruits. Yeah, but immediately they see you, they will also run away. Okay. That one they are not friendly. But a uh, tour guide will take you to a certain place inside like uh, Sayo area or Hawaii area. That one you see plenty antelope there. Antelope? Yeah. Oh, okay, so tomorrow we'll see them? Yeah, bounce. Bounce. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Henry. Welcome. So yeah, like he said, when you come here, just be kind to the animals. Don't try and feed the baboons because they are wild animals. If you are not a trained um, person, you can't feed them. And when you feed them, they'll try and attack you, especially when you're holding a black polythene bag. So if you didn't take anything at all from what he said, please take note of that. <laughs>
finally leaving the Shy Hills Resort and guys, this place is very beautiful. I like everything about this interior. They took time and money to spec up this place. See there, you can even see from the chandelier, the couch, the throw pillows, the bathtub. Everything here is very, very beautiful. I really, really like the fact that they took time into doing what they did here. And sleeping here is very, very um, peaceful. When you sleep here, you get to spend time alone. You get to plan and rejuvenate. So if you're looking for a place to rejuvenate, this is the place to be. Also, one thing I didn't like about this place is the fact that the road leading up to the hills is very, it's not much trouble, okay? So if you don't have a high-rise car, if you don't have all those high-rise cars, you're unable to climb the hill. And when you don't have a car and you either come here with either Uber or boat, your car might probably get stuck. So when you are planning to come here, you should come here during um, the dry season, okay? During those times, the road, uh, they are very, very dry and you will see a lot of mud or anything of that sort that can let your car get stuck. So that's one thing I didn't like. Another thing would be the fact that I'd already booked um, prior, like two weeks prior to the place. We get there, they don't even know what we are talking about. We had to stand there. We had to wait for like 30 minutes before um, they got us a, a tour guide to bring us up here. So probably if you are booking, my advice would be to probably check on the place. <clears throat> check with the lady the morning, like be on her because... It's not like I I wasn't on here. I was on here when com conversation even till I got here. But when I got here, the guards at the gate didn't know what was going on. So maybe they would have to brief the people here that oh these people have booked. So when they get here, they already know. Then they'll just allocate a tall guard to the person to bring the person here. So those are the two things that I didn't like. But overall, this place is very good. It's a place to rejuvenate, a place to take some time off, a place to cool off, and a place to relax. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button down below and subscribe to the channel and join the Wang Gang. Guys, finally time to go, but I don't want to go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was interesting, if it was informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and share. Share with your in-law, your side chick, your husband, your friends, your colleagues, everybody you know because this place is a hidden gem. Everybody needs to know this place. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.